Good morning and sliding into afternoon. Judy Allen here, also known as Nana in San Antonio, Texas. And yes, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So today we're going to be making wooden gift tags. I've already been making some for the mystery bags that went out and then also for the uh, November Adventure Club. It's going to have some wooden ornaments on it also. So you never can tell. There'll be more out there as well. So let me go down the hands and we'll show you how we're going to do this. I'm going to show you what I've already made for some other things. But then we're going to make something to go with this kit. Because I've already been building, right, a gift package. So a wooden ornament goes perfect with it, right? So let's go down the hands and let's do this. It's not that hard. I'm going to do two of them, all right? So this is what we've been building, right? We did this one here. And we did this one with the cardinal. So I've got my gift boxes already building. We have the cards we've already made. And then we made a post-it note holder with a stand last time. And then I've also made these ornaments, right? So I actually added some of this here and then I added some of our pretty ribbon right here. And this will go into the package as well. So we're not finished yet because we need our tags. So, oops, let me get the lights out there for you there. So just to show you, Like I was going to get heated up by the light there. All right, so this is what I've already made for mystery bags as well as uh, some gifts, club, like I said, like this. So I actually brought three different ones because, as you saw from the packages, I have one that's a cardinal, so it's really too big. I want to do a circle one, but this is, like, really too big. All right, so I'm going to set that aside, but it would be perfect for this one, right? I'm going to put that aside, and we'll do that in a moment. And then, this is our birds right here that we have in the actual kit. And these are still big, right? And I really wanted to use this little round wood thing, right? It's natural. You can see that it's cracked naturally. That's just how it comes, right? So this is actually too big. If I wanted to put both birds on there, as you can see, it's just really, really big, all right? And I could maybe trim it off, but that's really not going to work. So, stamping up... When they did this, they got they did coordinating paper. It, well, I shouldn't say it's coordinated with the suite, right, that we have already. So this is the birds in the suite. And this bird, they made sure, right, when they coordinate these kits, look how the birds match, right? I mean, everything down to right here and all. So this bird will fit perfectly right here. So what we're going to do, we're going to use paper from the kit on the back side, right? And let me go ahead and do this. So what I usually do, it just makes it easier I, originally, I was trying to, I was undoing these knots, and that was really sort of a pain in the rear. So, the easiest thing to do is just trim it off right to the top. Don't worry about it. We're going to put it back in. What I'm going to do first, though, is we're going to put something on the back side. Now, originally, I was going to just go ahead and use what we have from the kit, which we can, right? I can. This is leftovers from last time, so I can glue this. On the back is what I'm going to do. So we'll go ahead and get that. It can dry while we're doing the, getting ready for the front part. So I'm just going to put the glue back here. And I believe I'm going to put some glue right here. If not, I'll get another. I see another glue ready for me. Oh, yeah, this one's nice and full. This one feels like it's on its last leg here. So, yeah, so I don't know about you guys, but we have family coming. I got grandkids coming. On Monday, and they're, they're going to be here all week long. So we're going to do fun things, right? So I won't do live next week, but I'm doing 20, uh, 12 days of Christmas. And so I'll post something every day. And if you want the tutorial for it, it will be available free. All right. So there we go. So we're going to let that dry. And I'm going to show you how we're going to handle that. And then we're just going to start tackling this little bird right here. So it's a bunch of paper, so I'm just going to cut around it. You may call this fussy cutting, or you may call it hand cutting. So people are calling it both things nowadays, which is fine. I don't really care one way or the other. The bottom line is I'm going to use my scissors, right? So I'm just going to come around. We're just going to... I'm going to leave the greenery for the moment, see if we like the greenery. Because it's, it's, I'm really sort of indifferent at the moment, but the green, having the greenery just adds a little to it, right? So that's the only reason why I would do that there. So yes, I want to thank everybody that was praying and 
Give me words of encouragement on Wednesday. No, it was uh, Tuesday. I'm sorry. I didn't go live Wednesday. Yeah, it was Wednesday. Wednesday. Because uh, I have a family member that had to have surgery. And they're doing fine. They're getting better and better every day. In fact, to basically been getting better and said that I didn't have to babysit them anymore. So, there you go. <laughs> Definitely a sign. Definitely a sign. So, yeah. So, we'll just, uh, you know, it, it's, things just happen, right? And we just go with it. Family's very important. And the love of my life is very important. So, you know what? And the kiddos and the grandkids. So, uh, you know what? This has to be priority, right? It's not that we need to see, rethink about what we're doing and why it isn't. Okay? But here we go. We're just, like I said, cutting this out. So, yes, I do. I have some exciting things. I mean, I enjoy doing this. I enjoy making gifts, right? Because whether it's for a craft show, in this particular case, it's not. In this particular case, it's, it's gifts for a couple of people. And so I'm going to just actually, I'm using the kits here and this here just to give me some things that I can put into little crates that I made, right? Because we made the crates. If you want to check on that, you can go back. I made the crates from the kit. However, you can take the nest of winter paper that coordinates with this, the suite that coordinates with this. You could actually go and just get paper from it too if you didn't have any, the actual paper pumpkin kit. But the paper pumpkin kit can at least inspire you, right? And I would say, I was trying to think if they had cardinals. I don't think they had cardinals. I don't remember offhand. I just remember all these little different birds. This one just matches identical to what's in the paper pumpkin kit, right? So they really, they've really been doing a great job of working at coordinating what they have in the kits with what they actually have with the other stuff. All right, so this is going to be easy here. We're going to see this. So see now, this one's going to fit with it just about like this. Okay, and I can put up with dimensionals, and I can live with that a little bit better than the other. What I'm going to do here is because I've got a flat edge up there that goes the other way is on the paper, I'm just sort of going to work my way around it. So it looks like this was the original top of the limb. You know, there is no right or wrong way. I mean, it's sort of like when I go to assisted living and do classes there for them. All you gotta do, if you're ever in doubt, just go outside and look around you, look at nature around you, and go find a leaf or anything else that you need to inspire you or guide you, whatever. Because nature out there has got all kinds of things going on to inspire you. All right, so we're just gonna take this here, and I'm just, I'm actually gonna put this up on a dimensional because I can, right? And then we're going to trim off the back. So I actually really and truly, it would be easier to trim off the back right now. So let's do that. So you can see this is glued on. And that was just left over. So we're going to trim this here. Yeah, so if I get ahead of myself, you can always say, hey, you're getting ahead of yourself. And that's fine. So this is just a quick and easy way to use what you already have and make some very cute ornaments. Now, if you want to know where I got the wooden ornaments... Actually, Hobby Lobby. And, you know, at first when I got these ones that were wood like this, the circle ones here, I thought, what in the world? I got it because it really got my attention. And I'm thinking, I don't know what in the world I'm going to use it for. Well, now I know what I'm using it for is to sit there and decorate packages, right? Or for the mystery bags. Hello, Bertner. Glad you could make it today. I'm going to put this up, like I said, on dimensionals. Now that I got that done. I'm going to go right there in front of me. So it's really so right. It's just trying to pay attention to the the screen. So if something pops up, so I can say hello, which I always enjoy doing, right? I hope you got some good weather there. We're finally getting cooler weather here. Now see if I just pop it up right there. It's not going to be overly over, but the nice thing is the way we got this cut out, it would be easy to trim that off if it was, it was too much. Okay? So I like to give myself flexibility. And then I can also sit there and add Wink Costella anywhere I want to add Wink Costella. Now, see, I just put it right here below the hole. Okay, so we've got here this gut cover. You're just going to take this tool. This tool actually is, it's a thick tool. And it originally looks like this, except I put a brush on it. And it's 
you can change out the ends and all. So that's what I did. And what I did is I just come here. We're just going to gently poke here. All I'm looking for is just to see a poke sign right there where I poked it. That way I'm going to come. I think I poked it there. Let's see. I don't want to poke my hand, right? That's silly. All right. And I'm just going to come back here. Ah, it shows me that's where I did it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm not sure why it's giving me a hard time. There he is. Right, so each one of them are different. So if you think each one of these little wooden circles are going to look exactly the same, they're not. You can see here's the wooden circle here. You can see they're different sizes. I think that's what sort of makes them so unique, right? That each one's different. So I actually poked a hole here. So it's easier once you poke the hole to there is to take one end of the string that we already poked out and poke it go through here. On the other side, it wants to stick to the wood. They're just trying to poke it through, and this one's going to sit there and do that to me right now. And that's okay. Let's see if I'll swap out. Because I can. There you go. Now, so if it didn't, if you couldn't get to go through real easy like that, the thing is, is you can still take this and poke it through. And we'll do that in a minute. And I'll show you how that goes. Just so you know. Oh, it's snowing. Oh my gosh. And here we were the other day talking about we wish it would snow here. Everybody was so excited because it was so hot. We were wanting it to snow. <laughs> but for us, you know, we've, we've had snow before. And the one that's really nice is when it dumps. It looks like cotton candy from the sky. It's just coming down in huge sheets and all. And, it, man, it covered the, the vehicles in less than 30 minutes in the yards. And it, it was melted by the next day. And that's the kind of snow we like here. <laughs> Wow. All right. So on the back side here, what we're going to do is I actually brought a punch. And we're going to do the same thing we did on, I did on the reindeer. And I'm basically, I'm just going to punch a hole. Now the other we're not. So when we do the cardinal, the cardinal is going to be different. All right. So if you got circle punches. I have different sizes. Um, there we have them. And I'm going to actually do this in green because I really like the green on here. The, this is actually shaded spruce, and that was the one in the kit, I believe, this month. I can't see it at the moment because I buried it. Yes, shaded spruce. Yay. Okay. All right. And this perfectly fits. This is from another stamp set uh, that wasn't in here. But I want to do a to and from, right? So even though I'm going to go ahead and put this on here now, what I do is I have some uh, markers, right? So I just sit there and I put to and from, puts to and from on there. If I already know, if I already know, I do it now, right? Uh, I do know who it's going to go to right now, but since it's a surprise, I can't do that on live, just in case. So I will just have to sit there and write with my marker, which is just easy to do. And then you can either lay it flat. I actually put mine up on dimensionals because I just like the height of it, right? So if I went through the effort of doing stuff that have height, I just wanted to go ahead and make sure I did height. So this is how easy it is to make a wooden tag. All right. And if you want to add embellishments, you could. We could add Winkastella. Winkastella just makes things sparkle. We really didn't have any adhesives or embellishments for this. But you could. You know, the thing you could, too, and I didn't do it, but you could. You could tie ribbon right here if you wanted to. Just make a little, just a small little bow if you wanted to, right? Just like I made a bow right here, right? You could do the same thing at the top of the ornament if you wanted to. It's all a personal preference, right? So let me set this aside and let's do the cardinal. Because for me, when I have my cards and I have my box, right? I like to just make gifts that coordinate. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. All right, so here's the cardinal. Okay, and this one's the brown one, so we're not using the brown one. Okay, the cardinal here fits perfectly just right here. So we're not going to cover the back side of that or anything. We're just going to put this up on dimensionals, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and tie this because we're not going to have to do anything like that. I mean, I could cover the back side, but we're not. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. 
what we're going to do is use, well, let's see if I can tie this. We're going to use paper, right, to sit up there and decorate the back. So I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to do part of it, right? Okay, so let's get some measurements here. So if you go from, I'm just going to go from here, the bottom edge, so you can see it, to this here. Not up here, right, because it's going to be cut at an angle and I didn't plan on doing paper. So this is basically four, three and a half inches. So I'm not going to cover the whole thing, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm only going to cover about from here to here, okay? So let's just sort of move that down and get us an eyeball. That's about two and three quarter inches. And this is two and a half inches wide. So we can do it one of two ways. We could either cut it by the dimensions or we could actually glue it on and then trim it off. I prefer, in this particular case, I'm going to go ahead and measure it and we're going to just put it on there, okay? And I also wanted to add another color. We're going to add some blue. To, um, here we are. We're going to add the blue because the original card, or we can add, add the dark green. Dark green will be fine too. So I'm going to cut this down. So I'm going to give my paper trimmer. We're going to cut this down to two by two and three quarters. I mean, boy, if it started snowing here with the kiddos here, they would just love it. You maybe could send some snow to us. That's not artificial, right? Nowadays, you can go buy snow and create your own snow, and it's artificial. I want the real thing. All right, this is. <laughs> I bet you'd send it to me too if you could. All right, two and three quarters by. I said two. Not too funny. All right. <laughs> Alright, that is, no, I'm on the wrong end, that's why I can't tell, two and a half, alright, two and a half by two and three quarters, alright, so I just need two and a half, let's see if I just mess this up, sometimes I can't talk and uh, do things at the same time, right, alright, so this is what we're going to do right here, we're just going to center this right back here on the back, like this, and we're, we are going to use glue, right? Because we're going to have to. We're on wood. And I just generously put it on the back so I want it all to stick down, right? Without oozing out. Now, I'm not worried that the paper is a little off, right? Because I can always use my scissors to trim it. But I'm going to sort of center it back here on the back like this. And then we're going to sit up here and take some of this glue that, that came with it. Now, let's take the dark color. Let's see. It's a lot of green, right? I really wanted to give it a little bit of color back here. All right. Let's see if I got another blue piece without completely having to cut this one up. But I'm leaving. I'm going to have to cut this one up unless I find another piece of blue. Yep, let's just do it. Okay, so we already know this is two and a half inches wide, right? So I don't need a whole lot. I just want to give it just some little extra right here. All right. So I'm going to just use, you can use a half inch, quarter inch. It's going to be really skinny, but I'll show you. Let's see if you can see me cutting that there. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So this is a half an inch. And you see that if we put this back here on this, ooh, that was definitely most crooked. Uh, let's see if we can trim that right. If not, let me get a post-it note to hold that down. Yeah, let me just see. All right. All right, so that was not... Let's go a little bit shorter then. Because the thing is, is that this edge is the one that's off down here. All right, so this is actually going to be less than a half an inch. It looks like it's three-eighths of an inch, which normally I don't like doing those kind of things, right? It's like it's bad enough it's half an inch, much like making it three-eighths of an inch. But anyway, we do what we have to do. All right, so you can see how this just can give it a nice little accent, right? That's all we're looking for is just a nice little accent. So I'm just going to cut this down to two and a half because we already know it's two and a half inches. And I believe we're going to keep it still in spot here. 
You know, in the tiny, you just want to make sure they don't move on you, right? Because it's very easy for them to move. And then we're going to put white on here, too. So let me go ahead and we just put some glue on here. Now you could, you could put this on top. I'm putting mine more toward the bottom. Now I could do a circle right here. Let's see what you think of the circle. I was planning on doing a square though, or a rectangle is what it really be. But you could, if you wanted to, we could do a to and from right there. But it's gonna give us a little bit more space this time, right? So let me get two and a half inches. Let's see what you are here. I had to do it on the right side. The reason is this ends at 12 and a half and it starts at one here. So that's why I need to come down here. So this is like two and a quarter. So if I did two and a quarter, see it's going to be too tall there. It'd be wide enough, right? If I did it right here, I could do it like here. So two and a quarter would be fine. Now we just need to look at how much space we have here because we'll leave some for the white. So from here to the edge, we got roughly two inches. So let's go less than two inches. We can go one and a, let's go one and three quarters. Let's see how that looks. Get us notice if I enough white scraps, we can do it as much as we want to. All right, so see if I do it like right there. It'll just give me trim around everything. Okay, which this is the look I wanted. So let's go ahead and get that on here. And if we want to add additional greenery here, we can. So we're going to go ahead and stamp to and from. And we'll put this back on here with dimensional. It's just like we did the other one. Now, because this is larger, right, I have more space. The only thing that, that would be the only thing I could say about the small ones, the round ones, why I like it, because it's, you know, nature with nature, right? It's just it's small. I can make it happen. Don't worry. Nana can make it happen. All right. So we're going to get our to and from on here. And I'm just going to... Actually, let me just go and just glue this one down. I'll put the other stuff on front. It's flat. It's not a circle. Okay. And so I'm just going to circle right there. Now, to see, by doing this, leaves us the opportunity. This one's a little big. But I bet you we could find some greenery out of all this stuff. Maybe not. Maybe we can from the other kits, though. All right, let's go to the front. So on the front side here, it's just going to be like this. We're going to put this down right here. I'm going to glue it down. I don't have to, I just put it down the middle. And then we're going to put the cardinal in here. And that's all we have to do. And the cardinal, I'm going to put the cardinal up here with dimensionals. Now, one thing, let me turn it just a little bit. I want to get, I want to get as much of the berries in there because the berries really help make it pop, right? And on the other ornament here, we didn't have any berries or anything, but we can put berries, right? So I really like the berries. Just gonna put this right here in the center. That way, I'm not gonna have to guess whether I got the tail hanging over in the right spot or what. And we're just gonna put this right here. Now again, we could easily put some ribbon at the top if we wanted to. We could leave it as is. If you want to add bling, you could add bling. And then we have this on the back right here. I was trying to see if we had any of the sprig stuff that we had at all that was small, but it's really not. If I did it, I would have to, we could do this. Let's do this one. Because this is small enough that we could sit there and put it here on the back side. And it would just give us some extra greenery. And, you know, I never worry about how much white I have. If I need to, I can come back and trim it off if it really bothers me a whole lot. Most of them I don't let stuff like that bother me. All right, so I'm going to put this on dimensional, right? I'll put one here, and I'll put one here. So, when the person, the people, I shouldn't say the person, because this is more than one person. We've got several gifts, couple, several gifts here. When they get it, it'll be a nice surprise to know it was them that was being made for on live. Right? All right, now it's going to be out of here. And it's, it wasn't hard at all, right? We made two ornaments, stamped the sentiment, and all we've done is take what's in the kit and added to it. Now, this one, oops, ah! It's just small, right? So the thing is, if you wanted to add more berries, the paper that I was showing you earlier, this is another piece of the paper. 
got these berries right here. So if you want to just add some small little berries, then that's what I would do. I just take them and I would cut them out. And I believe the dyes will cut some of them out. Won't cut all of them out. And just come around it just like this here. And see, I think the cardinal's pretty set up. It's just if you wanted something a little bird here. You can just add a little touch of berries to it. And that would work too, right? Or you could get some bling. See, if you just want to add some berries here, if you just want to add three, then fine. Take your scissors. You can easily get to three, just like that. Oop. I think I almost cut that berry in half. All right, see, we easily just got to three berries. Again, you can either just put it down like this. If I was going to use a dimensional, I would use one of the mini dimensionals, which I always have tons of those around, except for right now when I'm looking for them. Of course, right? Isn't that how it goes? Like I can't, ah, there we go. I was going to say I had tons of them everywhere. So, um, it's like, except when you need it, right? Then you're like, where to go? All right, just see how easy that is just to give it a little extra something, right? You can put them anywhere you want. Add your wink of Stella. So it's like anything else, right? We do it, if you're going to do it, let's you do either one or three, right? So I'm going to stick with the one just because I wanted to at least get one on there. So I just want to show you just how easy it is, again, to sit there and make wooden ornaments just from the kits, right? You can do it with any paper, anything you want. I'm going to add Wink Costello here. This isn't a kit, but I tell you what, it should be in every kit. It should be in, every, it should be in your stash of stuff. It's just nice. It's sparkly. It gives it a little extra glitter. It gives it that white snow look, right? Glistening snow. For Brett, for Deborah. All right, so there we go. Boop, boop. And then when you look at it, I didn't put it, yeah, you guys, let me still there. So look at our box. So here's our gift box, and here is our tag to go with it. And we got a card ready to go with it as well, too. And then here is our other one right here. And we have cards to go with it as well, too. And here's our tag to go with it as well. I don't know. I just like to make things as a set, right? It just pulls it all together. So I hope you enjoyed this. It's not that difficult, right? It's all about creating, sharing, and giving. And right, because we're at the holiday season. I know for me, I need Thanksgiving cards sent out today. And then next week, sometimes, most probably more like Saturday or Sunday of the next weekend, once we get through Thanksgiving, We'll be working on Christmas cards because we send out over 100 Christmas cards every year. And we've made some at the retreat. I got some from the retreat to still finish up. I have the ones from the kids here. So I've got cards to send out. So you need to just get your stuff together so you can go out there, create, share, and give. And make a difference during this holiday season, right? So with that, be blessed. Thank you for following us. Not only here, but also supporting us on we're Facebook with the Venture Stamping and supporting us also on YouTube, Instagram, and Pinterest. With that, be blessed. I won't see you next week, but you'll see every day beginning on Monday, 12 days of Christmas, where we'll have projects out there every day. And if you're not on a newsletter, you need to be on our newsletter to get the PDF tutorials because all we'll be doing is posting a picture of the project. And if you want the details, you'll need the newsletter. All right, sign up today if you're not signed up. Be blessed. Look forward to seeing you after Thanksgiving because we'll be there on Sunday with a new paper pumpkin kit. That will be December 1st. All right. Bye.